Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about something that's really frustrating us. Yeah, Sarah's ex-boyfriend Kyle is at it again. Uh, don't even get me started. So Kyle and I broke up a while ago, but he just can't seem to leave me alone. And now he's harassing Sarah with text messages from a new number. Yeah, I thought I'd blocked him enough times, but I guess he just won't take the hint. So Claire and I were just chilling at home when I started getting these texts from an unknown number. And at first Sarah thought it was just a wrong number or something, but then she realized it was Kyle. Ugh, my heart just sank. I didn't want to deal with him again. I was like, Sarah, don't even respond to him. He's just trying to get a rise out of you. But then he started drunk texting us, trying to win me back into his life. And I'm over here thinking, dude, you never even dated me. Why are you texting me? Right? It was so pathetic. He was saying things like, I love you and I miss you. Meanwhile, I'm over here thinking, dude, we're done. We're both just so frustrated and aggravated with him. Can't he just leave us alone? I know, right? It's like we've moved on with our lives but he's still stuck in the past. And the thing is, he's not even taking responsibility for his actions. Exactly, he's just trying to shift the blame onto us. Well, we're not having it. We're standing up for ourselves and telling him to leave us alone. So I finally had to step in and yell at him to leave us both alone. Yeah, Clara was like, Kyle, stop texting us. We're done with you. And you know what he said? I'll never leave Sarah alone, creepy, right? Ugh, don't even get me started. But anyway, we're just glad to be rid of him. Yeah, we deserve so much better than someone like Kyle. But the most irritating experience was when he showed up uninvited and unannounced, completely drunk. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. I was home alone with Sarah when he just showed up at our doorstep. Yeah, I was so shocked. I didn't know what to do. He was banging on the door, yelling my name. And I'm trying to calm Sarah down, telling her don't answer it, don't answer it. But he just wouldn't leave. He kept saying, I love you. Sarah, it was so pathetic. And then he starts vomiting on our porch. It was disgusting. I was so done with him right then and there. I called the police and they had to come and take him away. It was such a relief when they finally took him away. We were both shaking with fear. I was so scared, Clara. I didn't know what he was capable of. I know, me too. I was trying to protect you, but I was also scared for myself. It's just so frustrating because we've told him so many times to leave us alone, but he just won't listen. Yeah, it's like he thinks he has some kind of right to be in our lives or something. Ah, uh, it's just so infuriating. We deserve so much better than someone like Kyle. Absolutely. We deserve someone who respects us and our boundaries. You know what's even better? We're both relieved that we didn't get my boyfriend Kevin involved in all this drama. Oh my gosh, yes. If Curtis had gotten involved, Kyle would have been in so much trouble. I know, right? Curtis is not someone to mess with. He's like Trevor Phillips from Grand Theft Auto 5 or something. Hi. Exactly. Curtis would have snapped at Kyle like Trevor snaps at everyone in Los Santos. And the best part is, Curtis lives out in the countryside, so he's even more rugged and country strong. Yeah, Kyle wouldn't stand a chance against Curtis. He's like a city boy. What's he gonna do against a country boy like Curtis? Exactly, so we're both just relieved that we didn't involve Curtis in all this. It would have been a whole different story if we had. Definitely. So let's just be grateful that we handled it ourselves and didn't need to get Curtis involved. Absolutely. Now let's just move on from all this drama and focus on our lives. Agreed. No more Kyle drama for us. Speaking of Curtis, have you noticed he hasn't been uploading videos to social media much lately? Yeah, no, he's been really busy with work and other things. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. He's just been really focused on his priorities right now. Like what? Well, he's been working a lot to save up money for our future together. Aw, W, that's so sweet. He's really thinking ahead. Yeah, and he's also been working out a lot to get in shape. Oh, I know. He's been posting some progress pics on his story, and wow, he's looking good. I know, right? He's been really dedicated to his fitness goals. And what else is keeping him busy? He's also been spending time with his family and friends and just enjoying life, you know? That's great. He deserves it. He's always been such a hard worker. Yeah, and I'm just proud of him for following his passions and pursuing his goals. We should all be like Curtis motivated and driven. But hey, yeah, maybe we can learn a thing or two from him. 